Hi guys, almost the beginning of the month, meaning how to stay rolling video, done that. What's new video? That's this. So Ctrl Alt G is launching my Chromium. And this will be updated when uh, it's October, it will say October release and read what is new will point then to this particular article that we're going over. Now the September, right? The month September was governed by GRUB, right? Arch Links threw out there a GRUB update which messed up our systems and we were ending up in our motherboards. Basically, we saw the settings of our uh, UFI uh, motherboard. So it applied the only effect that was the UFI guys, not the bias systems. But that's for later. Let's start with um, a video that I've put online because of the fact that we have now 3000 videos just about Arclix, but prior to that there are even more like 2000 more about i3 and all that in the past. But just for our clinics, we have already 3000 videos all about knowledge. And that's what I tried to explain in this video. Why choose our clinics? Well, it's a kind of university. We have a learning path. We guide you through different aspects of an operating system and what can you achieve and then why would you choose it? That's all explained here, what is possible, right? But it's not like any other university. It's not done in a week, not in a month, not even in a year. If you wanna cover all of this, it's gonna take at least three years. Depending of course, how much time you have to spend. So do have a look at this um, video. And then the Xen mod, um, a while back with said okay let's let's try it out because normally right zenmod.org they tell to you in here really says very clearly note the current proprietary nvidia virtual box vm do not officially support this and this and that thinking oh my god this is gonna fail right you know what i have i have an nvidia geforce and i have xenmod Next to me is another machine with NVIDIA and it has XenMod, Edge and LTS. So these guys work. But then I have the knowledge to fix my machine. If it breaks, I can go to TTY. I know what Arch Root is and I can fix anything, right? So Arch Arch Root is something that you know that you've done. And then of course, there is no issue if you can help yourself why not test it out? XenMod, Kernel, Linux LTS, and XenMod. All right, so this is explained in this one. And then the ATT, we, we saw that without doing anything, right? July and the holiday period and all that, without doing anything, something happened to Linux and we have had to adapt our ATT so that the uh, root, uh, the folder in the config Qtile was not from root, but from the user. So that's fixed in the meantime. At glibc, well, we have to keep an eye on that. It um, only concerns Calamara's installation. It gives us wrong, wrong locales, so we keep an eye on that. But when you use the ISO, everything is okay. Thanks to Etrigan63 from Discord, we've got a new Dracula theme, right? So that's a new Qtal theme. This is probably some kind of, um, derivative from the grub but we've noticed on being on a, on a xenmod machine right xenmod kernel machine that if there was a dkms update coming in then the system broke so we have now an extra pacman hook to run make any cpio after an update of dkms so again another way to automatically make sure that everything works because basically we you don't expect to end up in a black screen, as simple as that. Which, but we notice these things and then we improve the code and say, okay, let's make a Pac-Man hook in case this happens, then everything is okay. We had a look at uh, Dusk. So Dusk is an, um, a spin-off, a fork, let's say, from DWM, but a beautiful one, right? 
certainly worth mentioning and from time to time we take a look at the code that um, the backup here made compared with ours and we keep our keyboard shortcuts so we have all 20 30 actually 30 desktops right have all the same combine combinations and control t and super enter and so on all these keyboard shortcuts are in there so an update of the code this is the like like i call it the saga right we've made seven videos explaining to you all kind of things about uh grub and um basically our september month was well yeah focused on on grub and all these its issues but you've seen maybe already the video how to update from september to uh, october version et voila everything goes automatically we've done everything in uh yeah with pacman hooks and stuff like that we've solved that issue with um, that's done right there is however a new um, alias because of it so install grub efi something new alias So if it happens again, we can actually, we don't have to remember the pseudo grip install target x86, 64, EFI and so on. Um, we just remember, oh yeah, maybe I should do this, right? I've been doing this like all the time. Maybe you don't know, but um, I have like for every desktop, I have an SSD. <laughs> so I switch with my bay, which is um, a good tip actually should certainly include this in the video article linuxd.com i see still people trying to make all kinds of difficult difficult things nope it's gonna be on arclinux.com then and by difficult things i mean they are dual booting triple booting four operating system one thing this is how i do things right i open up uh how do you call that right open up this thing and SSD pops out, a new one goes in, Windows goes in, Linux goes out, and stuff like that. It I don't dual boot. Keep it simple and stupid. No issues whatsoever. So if you have the possibility, I know, I know, I know. Um, money is of course important, but here's all the information. In my case, in Belgium, it cost me 60 euros. And here's the video how I did it. So you can even follow my my hands, right? While while, while I do it and um, super interesting because i don't get conflicts i don't have problems with efi being overwritten by windows and all that because it's separate it lays there in my closet and when i need it i pop it in the machine right so voila remember that so what i was saying is with all these ssds i had to fix them all right until of course we have this op automatically updated Pac-Man thingy hook here that ensures me everything goes automatically. So it was a good exercise of arch rooting all the time because Endeavor OS had problems, Garuda had problems. Uh, they all they all had their problems. I'm not sure if Garuda was in the case, but you mean anything that I had, right? Arch links based that did receive the grub update. Well, got the issue, so I had to arch root a lot. <laughs> So voila, important for you to know what is Arch root and have a look at it. We're working with Arch ISO 61-1, today 67 is already out. So I'm looking already at the ISOs of November, so that's for later. And what's new, that's the video that we're gonna pop in here, right? This is gonna be replaced with this one. And how to say rolling has been made. So 0, 09 to 10, keep rolling video, basically Arch Linux keyring install it, yeah, and that's it for me, right, guys? Um, the end of the article. So, enjoy Arch Linux. Remember, there are more things in this world, and maybe also in this video, I should tell you that you don't go looking for YouTube, and go, don't go searching here for a solution about your plank issue, right. Then you get this great blank or you do the here and you won't get similar videos right it's about blank applications installing the blank application all that 33 about blank enjoy all right cheers